In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the config tool software to initialize an IP camera or a set of IP cameras. First, I'm going to double click to open the config tool. And when after searching my network, we should see there's an uninitialized device. You will need to click the search setting icon and do the other segment search to do 192.168.1.1 if you are not on a standard 192.168.1 network. However, I am, so I can go ahead and initialize my camera from this network. If you're lucky, you will be able to see the uninitialized camera even if you're not on this network. However, like I mentioned, if you can't, then use the search setting button. Here, I'm going to tick the checkbox for my uninitialized IP camera. I'm going to click the initialize button at the top left hand side. It's going to bring up a device initialization wizard. And then I can click the initialize button, making sure that this IP camera is checked. You can do multiple cameras at a time. However, for the sake of continuity and to not confuse yourself, you're going to want to really just initialize one camera at a time. I'm going to type in our factory default password. And then I'm going to enter our recovery email. We recommend using our information. That way you don't lock yourself out and you can easily contact us for the information. Here I can select PAL or NTSC. Since I'm in North America, I'm going to use the NTSC format and click Next. It's going to bring up another page where I can select the EZ4 IP. This is the P2P. I'm going to uncheck this as I'm not going to use P2P for this particular camera. And then I'm going to want to auto uncheck auto check for updates as you'll want to contact us for any potential updates for your camera or system. And I'm going to click OK. It's going to bring up another initialization window. And then after some time, we should see a green check mark for a result. And then if I click the check mark, it will say initialization success. Then I can click finish. And now my IP camera is initialized. I can access its web interface or change its IP address by clicking the edit icon. However, I'll show that in another video. Hopefully this video helps you initialize your IP camera or NVR using the config tool software. Thank you for watching.